developing story, a police chase through Broward ending in a multi-car crash. We've learned one person has died and several people are in the hospital, including the young suspects who allegedly started this all. Local 10's Joseph Ojo is live in Oakland Park with how this all unfolded. Joseph, what can you tell us? And so this all started in Fort Lauderdale. Two juveniles stealing cars from a home, then police spotting one of those stolen cars, and then after it led to a chase that ended here, where a multi-accident happened behind me. In the end, sadly, one person did die, and six people had to be rushed to the hospital. One person losing their life after a burglary, police chase, and nasty crash. It all started in Fort Lauderdale Sunday morning along the 2500 block of Mercedes Drive, where police say three cars were stolen from a home. Police finding one of the cars, a white Mercedes sedan, just before five along the 900 block of West Sunrise Boulevard. A police chase began, ending with a crash involving multiple cars at the intersection of Oakland Park Boulevard and Powerline Road. Heard the crash, the police was already right there and police is over there, and the dude jump out and try to run. Our cameras spotting scattered debris all over the street, the stolen white Mercedes with heavy front end damage, airbags deployed, back tires hanging off of a car, and the driver's side door of this black SUV smashed in. One man on scene telling us his pregnant sister was injured in this crash. He says his sister and the baby are expected to be okay. I worry about her because she's pregnant, you know. She's, she's having the baby next week, I think. Oakland Park Fire Rescue says a total of six people were taken to the hospital, two women and one man listed as trauma alerts. Sadly, deputies tell us that one of the women injured in this crash was pronounced dead at the hospital. Police tell us it was two juvenile males who caused this chaos and tragedy. They tried running after the crash, but were quickly detained and taken to the hospital for their injuries. And so that man that you did hear from in the story does tell me that his pregnant sister is still in the hospital at this time, suffering from some pain, but her and the baby is expected to be okay. As for the other identities of those who were injured in this multi-crash, they, they haven't been identified at the time. and. Their um, condition at this moment is not known. As for those two juveniles at this time, their charges have not been made public at this time. We're here in Oakland Park. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News.